So this is my fourth Apple CarPlay review. So we've had the Carpuroid, we've had the Autocast, we've had the Podofo, and this fourth one, this is the Car ABC. So this is a five inch display, and it's got the dash cam. So we're gonna try this one out, and then out of the four, we're gonna decide which one I'm gonna keep. So this is the display. It's got front and rear cameras. It also comes with a USB lead, so you can plug it in via USB. That's the other camera. Or you can hardwire it to the bike. But that's the only thing with these. These brackets, I don't think are that good. And all these fittings on the back of these displays they all seem to be unique to the display. It'd be so much easier if they just put a ball mount on because it makes them quite hard to remove. The only one what removes quick is the Autocast. There's our bags. Now the one thing different this one's got, this one's got these tire pressure sensors. So it'd be good to try these out. I'll take it that's where you put the SD card to record the dash cam. Okay, let's fit it and see what it's like. Right, so what I've done, I'm doing away with that bracket because you can't you can't get it anywhere on the bars. And what I've done, I've got a spare ball joint. So at least now I can just fit that. So let me just try it fitted with the ball joint. I think that'll be better. So that's fitted with the ball joint. So at least I can just adjust that. And I can move that wherever I want it. So at the minute I'm using just the USB lead. I think I might hardwire it into the battery. So settings, tire pressures, you can change from bar to PSI, you can set an alarm for low and high, so if your pressure goes too low you get a warning on the screen, if it goes too high you get a warning, tire warning on, temperature, okay, panel, there's the PSIs, Tells you your speed, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth. Don't think we need that. I think that's if you're connecting your car though, but I won't. So the one thing on this I like is settings, phone audio. Now most of them don't have this. So I've got it on. So in other words, I want the audio to stay on the phone because my cardo is connected to the phone if you turn it off your audio goes to the device and then you have to connect your cardo to the device but i found then the buttons don't work on the cardo so that's the setting i'm after phone audio stay on the phone format sd card confirm Time setting, okay. Speed units, miles per hour. Key volume off, off turn, because this makes a sound when you touch the screen. App version. I'll actually, I'll have a look at the app in a bit. CarPlay, there we go. got maps, We've got messages, ways, music, so 
So what I need to do now is I need to get the cameras on. Right, there we go. So that's the front camera. I can use this button. I can have the rear camera with the front view in the corner. I can have the front camera with the rear view. I can have just the rear view. I can have just the front view. So we'll get them mounted in place. I've put the tyre pressure sensors on. So there we go, front tyres on 35, rear tyres on 39. And this is what their sensor looks like. If you can just see it there. That's the tyre sensor. Right then, so we've installed it. So what I've got is, there's my rear view camera. I could do with pulling that wire through a bit. Uh, so that's me rear view camera wire. It runs all the way down underneath the tank up beyond this side panel. I've wired in my switch live. Same again, that one's underneath up to the front. I've got front camera fitted. There's the front camera. So all the wiring comes out here at the moment. All I need to do is bury all this behind this panel. So here's the test. Let's see if it works. So let's see if the cameras work. Right, front view. Yep, there's my hand. Rear view. There's my hand. Right. Tire pressure sensors. There we go. Front 35. Rear's 40. So the temperatures, I oh know, front 36, rear's 40. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So all the wiring's tucked in nice, you can put the seat back on. What we've got to do now is bury all that and then road test it. And then we should all be done. Right then, so we're going to come out and we're going to try this out. So at the moment I've got it in rear view camera mode. Display's nice and bright, it's quite a bright day today, so that's working out right. Front tyres 37, back tyres 40 psi. We've got upper car plate. Let's have some music. Yep, audio's coming through the car though. Rear view camera mode I think. Yep, that's it, that's rear view. What have we got? 11 degrees. That's quite good as a rear view. Camera, actually, I do like that. So there. There's my car, ABC, with a ball joint. So much better. Is a cracking, crack a little display that one is. I think that's the one I'm going to keep. Let's have a look at some of the settings on it. I do like the features of this. I like that I've got cameras. I like that I can use it as a rear facing camera while I'm riding. I like that I've got this part where I can see what my tyre pinch, tyre pinches, tyre pressures are. I'm 200 and 50 meters above sea level yeah so i think this is the one i'm going to keep the car abc so we had 
the Carpyroid, which was a lovely 7 inch display, the display was amazing. The only thing I found with the Carpyroid was the audio was a bit temperamental. You know, sometimes it just wouldn't come back through the cardos and I just found I seemed to be messing around a lot with that one. The Autocast, Autocast brilliant because it's removable. That was, that was one of my favourites, that was, that was brilliant. Then we went and did the Podofo, which we fitted to Goose's bike, which was the one with the cameras. Uh, when I saw the cameras, that was, the, that was the, the feature I liked. I did like that idea of the, the cameras. And so I thought, right, I'll try this car ABC one. So this is the one with the tyre pressure sensors as well. And this is my favourite, I like this. The displays, perfectly, perfectly bright enough. I do like it. The only thing I've noticed with this car ABC one is on the others you just touch the display and it was responsive. This one it seems you have to press a little bit harder on the display. So where are we now? We are here by Romsley Huddington in Clint. Got my phone. This Apple CarPlay, it, it is brilliant. It's a great idea. Because at least now I can keep my phone. My phone in my tank bag. My phone's not out on display. So that's quite good. I do like that. But these cameras, I am loving. So that's the one I'm going to stick with. The Car ABC. It's got like a little uh, sun visor on it there. So I'll put the link in the description. The only thing I've found with the car ABC is on their website, it's different to this. The one they've got listed doesn't show the tyre pressure sensors or the camera, so I might need to get in contact with them to get a link for that, just so, you, just so I can put a link to that, this actual one. And the only other thing I changed on it is I put the ball joint on the back. Um, so my only advice to all these brands when I'm making these Apple car plays is... They all keep making these brackets what fit on your underbars and you know they're useless because you can't remove them. You know all you need to do is put a ball joint on the back. We all use these ball ram mounts, just put one of them on the back, it'd be so much easier. It's gonna be so much cheaper for you as well. But at least then you can you know you can fit it anywhere on the bike. But that's the one I like, that's the one I'm keeping. Right, it's a lovely day. Let's get a few photos.